<laughs> hey y'all, Derek Fox. Thank you so much for uh, putting this post out there. I'd love to tell you a compelling story. So for most of my life, I presented ex as extremely masculine, six cis male heterosexual. That's changed over the past five, six years. So as I've changed over the f past five, six years or so, um, I dress a lot better now. Um, I, uh, I do my nails. I wear a lot of jewelry. I have 27 pieces on my body now. Long story short, without going through all the changes, I'm, I'm living my wife life and presenting in a way that most people interpret me as being like um, heteros sorry, um, um, uh, homosexual or bisexual or part of the LGBTQ plus community. Which is totally fine, absolutely. I don't really care how people uh, uh, how people interpret me. I'm not here to d explain myself to anyone. But the thing that I have noticed in 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 that is this: is that there's so many men that walk around in such an insecure fashion, and um, a lot of times when they're exposed to my energy, that exposes their insecurity. Perfect example. Just the other day, I'm out, um, you know, clubbing out, meet, meeting people, and several males I go up to, I'll see them from across the room just to make eye contact, just being friendly, and they'll like nod. But then maybe later on in the night, we'll be at the bar next to each other, and I'll say, "Hey, how you doing? Have a good night." And I'll, once they see my nails, right, they the it, the interaction goes immediately. In, in these cases, goes immediately from friendly to mm. literally. I've been like, "Hey, how we doing?" And the guy's like, "Hey." And to me, it's crazy because I'm like, first of all, whatever you think I am, it, shit is not going to rub off on you. Second of all, to me, it's amazing how, how these insecure males walk around in the world and it's more important for them to protect their, their insecure masculinity that they don't even know if they really truly align with or even want. That's more important than them aligning with who they naturally and truly are and dealing with the world in its abundance. So yeah, that's the thing that's like, it's really shocking because so many men, it's really sad because so many men deny deny parts of themselves. They deny their relationships. They deny parts of themselves to other people. You know, the main thing, they, they deny love. They deny kindness sometimes. They deny feminism. They de de deny community if the community isn't, al isn't aligned in a way that reinforces who they think they are. So why is this compelling to me? It's compelling to me, not because it hurts me, it's not me with the issue. It's compelling to me because we have a society here where men feel like they have to be men, men, instead of having to be humans. That was something that I used to live by, and I have to say I'm much more free today, and honestly, I would never go back. And as a teacher, my biggest flex for this year, there have been so many like, uh, um, you know, boys, I teach high school, so many young men that are also very, very masculine. And just like, you know, engaging with me and getting to know who I am and realizing that uh, developing a relationship with them. I've actually had a couple of classes where we've had, where we have had the guys come in and we've got our nails done. And these are like masculine dudes. So it's really cool because when I'm able to do things like that, I'm realizing that I'm opening up their mind and showing them that what you do or what you put on your body um, doesn't make you anything. You make you and you determine who you are. This is just presentation. <laughs> Thank you so much, y'all. I hope you have a great day. And we're here with Derek Fox actor, model, and our favorite Holyoke High School teacher. Welcome to the show. 